And so I can kind of predict what uh, the peak is going to be, where the bottom is going to be the, around that time. And it's going to be close to 200,000, close to 200,000. 1 million by 2032. Today's interview is a clip from my interview with astrophysicist Giovanni Santostasi. I've posted the full interview on my second channel, The Crypto Nutshell, is the first link in the description. Giovanni has discovered using mathematics and his physics background that Bitcoin follows a power law. This power law has accurately tracked the price of Bitcoin over the past 15 years, which is spooky. You may have heard or seen Plan B stock to flow Bitcoin model, but this power law model is more accurate and an improvement. Five years ago, Giovanni first posted his findings on Reddit and he was met with a lot of backlash. Surely you couldn't use the past to predict the future. However, at the beginning of 2024, he posted a shocking update and Bitcoin has continued to follow his power law model almost perfectly. If you like what Giovanni has to say, be sure to check out his YouTube and Twitter both in the description. But without further ado, let's jump into the Bitcoin power law model with Giovanni. Everyone is always interested in price predictions and perhaps this is the first time they're seeing the model and that all want me to ask you in the 2024-2025 bull run looks like it peaks out in the middle of 2025 and what is that price range that you would estimate yeah. how low suggests that it will get to yeah so usually the peaks are about the end of the year you know and so this is going to be the end of the middle or end of the of 2000 uh 25 so yep start of 2026 so it's not perfect right so as you see it oscillates a little bit to you know where exactly the peak is but uh, around that time and it's going to be close to 200,000 close to 200,000 awesome and again then, you know this is assuming that there is this decay now it's yeah. possible that there is not a decay and so it's going to up much more but you know guys i'd, I'd rather hope for 200,000 and base it on some kind of uh, math and then see 500 and that will be the first one say okay great right because i don't think he, the model will be broken it will be simply this component will, will yeah. be right right but we don't have a decay here but i still think it will go back to exactly doing what it does during the bear market it is good news because you can see even during the bear market we're simply going up right so um, and uh that bottom should be around sixteen thousand, something like that, like that. Okay. So interesting. After the peak here around two hundred, we will never see anything below sixteen thousand for Bitcoin. Wow. You know, but it's cra again crazy. And then, or then you know, one million by two thousand for week two, something like that. Awesome. And then, have you? You said you were in altcoins before. Have you tried to find a power law or model other things like Ethereum, Solana, and you can't find it? It doesn't show up. Yeah. It's just the first thing uh, you see the pattern starts to be obvious when you start to change over many, many orders of magnitude. Then, so you know, maybe Ethereum did that because it went from few cents to you know a few thousands. You know, so be, but even there, and see what happened. It will be only this section of the. You know, if you did something similar with the Ethereum will be only this section, right? Yeah. So you don't start to see the real pattern until uh, you have a, a couple of other uh, orders of magnitude and no asset has done that. But you know, you can still try and they did try and it doesn't really look like there is a nice power law like with Bitcoin. That's the interesting asset. that it's just Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah, that we are dealing with something that is not something different. <laughs> yeah, okay. Interesting. Different, you know. But it's Beyond. kind of like a prediction because there were people like Al Sinning, you know, but saying the same thing. They say, uh, don't worry about, you know, this the code being open source because we kind of predict it. There'll be a lot of people replicating uh, you know what Bitcoin did, you know, the code, etc. cetera. Say they would be self defeating because if you don't believe a narrative of Bitcoin, you say, Okay, this coin is going to be good as Bitcoin, then this coin is going to be defeated by the next one and the next one and the next one. Yeah. But every time you make a new coin, the value of that coin is going to be less than the previous one in a sense, right? Yeah. So the only really that has that uh, cloud and that power and that standing value is Bitcoin because of yeah. the first one. So it makes sense and, that, and the data kind of supports Backs it up a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, just one more thing. Can we go back to the power laws, uh, the fifth one? These ones, yes. Yes, this one. Something interesting, I'm not sure, I know you're familiar with Michael Saylor, but if you've watched a bunch of his work, sometimes he refers to Bitcoin as a shining city in cyberspace that you can buy digital plots of land. I thought it was fascinating that you can, to my knowledge, you can estimate the GDP of a city based on the population size and that I think maybe Michael Saylor has discovered something or he might be onto might have I, I don't know. I would like to talk with him. You know, he's a big guy. So, you know, maybe he's 
ignoring me because you know I kind of he's very busy I'm sure and then I also don't know what is his philosophy about models because he also says all your bro models will be broken and so yeah I don't know you know is not what is happening here with Bitcoin actually yeah. he has a mathematic but he went to MIT and yeah yeah and that's to... space yeah aerospace yeah yeah oh yeah. So, yeah amazing amazing so I respect him a lot and he's I think yeah when he talks about Bitcoin he talks like a physicist he does he talks about the conservation he talks about all these things so you should be the first one agreeing that this is amazing if this is true you know well I'm um, actually um is important interviewing him in, him in two weeks and I'm gonna talk to I'll ask yeah, him about I'll all this I'll see him. if he's looked into it yeah and I'll show him the yeah. model but yeah it'd it be very interesting and I want to do more I want to start to do some calculation based on comparing it with cities because you know we have these studies where they actually did that where they came up with all these uh, patents I had a Twitter where I show all these beautiful power laws that people are finding like for example the GDP the number of patents um, unfortunately even crime so one can calculate how many scammers that are around Bitcoin you know because with the good things you also get the bad things yeah you know, the good things are going to win but you know there are also bad things coming up with the Kelly gap Right. All of them, all these things, you know, interactions between people, all kind of things were uh, power laws, power laws, yeah. power laws. And uh, it's interesting, like you can see here, right? It, it doesn't matter if you are up. And the beauty also of these power laws is that it's almost like a fingerprint. You see this N value? Yeah. The value, the specific value, it tells us something about the process. Like, for example, with organism, if I remember one, well, it's uh, three over four. It's something very specific that has something to do with what is going on with the different processes that drive this, like the power law from the planets tell us exactly like uh, gravity works. So it's almost like a fingerprint is a characteristic number for that system. So the fact that it's 5.8, uh, and maybe 5.8 is an approximation of so a real number, maybe six. So well, it's like a fingerprint for Bitcoin. It's this characteristic number, and it tells us something about the process. And that, you know, maybe we can try to do something making it more related to how city looks like. And then we've come up. Oh, you know, Bitcoin is like really is like a city. Yeah, it's like a city of uh, this size, right? Yeah, and it grows. Right? So it's now it's like New York. Now it's like yep. Los Angeles. Yeah. Now and it will be a day when it's like more like a country. And now maybe you know something bigger than that. So it's there are all kind of once you start to see things in this way. You are leaving the modeling, right? This is why S2F really, yeah, I seem to add a mechanism or I flow these things. First of all, let me say this, not really because uh, he derived that relationship using the time anyway. So he yeah. kind of rediscovered this power law. It's just that he, in addition to that, he says, oh, the price will jump up by a factor of 10 every housing is not happening and I'm yeah, uh, yeah. I would be the first one liking that because we would be ultra rich <laughs> it's not really you know we have to accept the data for what it is yeah. it's not yeah. it's not happening uh, but this is more beautiful in my opinion because it is, it is a Bitcoin first of all you know from a practical point of view is growing slowly but slowly well power of six what are you talking yeah. about <laughs> it's still very fast right it's not just yeah. see s to f means exponential because if you double something or make it 10 times something at a six away for years it's easy to show mathematically you will get an exponential yeah and exponential means explosive growth and it's not what is happening with Bitcoin. it's fast growth but it's a power law growth it's beautiful you know because then there are all these consequences about the robustness of a system about a system almost like it has homeostasis right like an organism you excite it, you push it away from equilibrium, he wants to go back. Uh, you push it away, he wants to go back. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then, you know, the fact that it is universal, it looks like planets, it looks like organisms, it looks like cities. It's philosophically, it becomes like a, a poem. You know, it's a scientific poem. It's beautiful. You know, so it is beautiful. But, uh, I said or was right. Like uh, maybe his intuition, maybe he was not making like a more general metaphor, but it's actually really true in a sense. Yeah. I, mathematically, it, it grows like a city. You know, it becomes like a city. So it's very interesting.